Wakanda Forever hits cinemas soon, and what better way to celebrate the release of a new Black Panther film and the new Lego toys that come with it than looking back at the current lineup of Black Panther as represented in Lego form. I've made a few of these videos in the past on some of your other favorite characters, so be sure to check those out if you're new here once we're done, and subscribing for more figure comparisons helps out the channel's growth. There are seven Black Panther figures in total, of which I own four. We'll get to that, I'll explain, don't worry. I thought, well, Wakanda Forever is actually marketing itself as being a gathering of all and celebrating more than just one individual and given the movie isn't actually out as of this recording we still don't actually know who's playing black panther this time around i mean i'm not an idiot i have a pretty good idea as to who i think it is but you know i thought why not take a look at all of the characters from the black panther line before the new sets the first Black Panther figure actually appeared in this Civil War set from 2016, first appearance in film and first appearance in Lego. I missed this figure at release though, he would have some similar looking variants down the line. Here's Black Panther and he's all in blue, he came to us from the cool little rhino set from his own movie this time around. The little ears are a piece that I really do like, though they weren't made for him specifically, but he is the character that's used this piece the most and it suits him quite well. I believe the blue colouring is a reference to the movie, but it's been a while so apologies to the Black Panther fans out there, I don't really remember what this does. It does make for a unique looking figure though with a slightly different colour palette. He came paired with Killmonger, currently the only way that you can get this version of this figure. He again uses the same ear piece, but the gold patterns on him are just gorgeous. Not gonna lie, he looks like a much cooler Black Panther figure. The Golden Jaguar Prince sold me on this set alone back in the day. Our first Wakandan citizen outside of a panther suit, Okoye, who was at the time of this only printed in this one set until the new wave of Wakanda Forever sets came out. I like the orange on her suit and the new face print, but she's far from being one of my favorites of the line. Because she's quite vanilla, I think that she's a little generic in comparison to the other ones, but she's still pretty neat. Now, my favorite of the Wakandan citizens actually comes in the Royal Talon Fighter of the same line, Nakia. I love her prints so much. I love the hair piece that she comes with. I really like her weird weapons that she was included with, ultimately making for one of my favorites of this line. Uh, we should talk about Claw, who may never be re-released again. Famous Ant-Man villain, and that's being very generous there, was portrayed by a very fun Andy Serkis, making this his second appearance as a figure in Lego, I believe. He uses my favorite hair piece in all of Lego, so how could I not like this figure? We also get a more civ looking Eric Killmonger, but like not at all a civilian. I think the rubber mask and tack vest is awesome. This vest could easily be used for all sorts of military type video game customs. The legs here are atrocious. I can't believe this was a piece that passed for 2018. This looks like it's from 2005. Unfortunately, he gets worse here as well because this has to be one of the worst actor likenesses that Lego has ever done. Oh my God. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they either didn't know that it was Michael B. George Jordan, or maybe they weren't allowed to use his likeness, but this is just, this is just wrong. Black Panther is also here by the way, everything about him translates perfectly from around the torso down. The face, oddly enough, shows that his eyes are exposed. I believe there's concept art that showed he might have had his eyes exposed at one point in the production process. As we all know, Lego based all of their toys on concept art, not final art. It looks odd, and I can't remember myself if he ever has his eyes out like this, but it does make for a different figure. And that, kids, is how you segue into the Infinity War line, because Lego re-released this exact figure three months later in the Wakanda set based on the Infinity War line. A Black Panther movie gets a ship and a rhino and the Avengers movie with a special appearance by Black Panther is how we finally get a Wakanda playset. Hmm, interesting. The same Black Panther figure, pretty lame, but we do get the last of the main characters and side characters in Shuri. Awesome hairpiece and very colorful with her clothing. Shuri would remain colorful even in her later appearances. The ladies go together quite nicely. It was two years later that we had a Black Panther release that unrelated to Chadwick Boseman in the MCU appearances in what we all believe to be adapted from the Avengers video game. I remember at the time thinking that Lego spoiled that Black Panther was going to be in it. I was wrong. It's more just inspired than anything, but Black Panther does feature this really neat neck collar that remains exclusive to this variant. This is ripped right out of the comics, so I am thankful that they did it at least once. And yes, I know Black Panther's in the game now, he was DLC. Last year we had a really great lineup of the Infinity War sets, mostly based on the latest entries of the series. Black Panther appeared in two of these sets as the same figure. It's reminiscent of the blue one from before, now featuring purple. I remember Endgame a lot more than I remember Black Panther, and I do not remember him turning purple. Looks nice though. This line also gave us a really great Shuri figure, but more on her in a little bit. Sorry, I never bought this set. 
The last Black Panther figure that I have technically isn't Black Panther, but it is T'Challa himself as Star-Lord from the Marvel CMF series that he was based on his What If episode. I wanted to include him in this video because it's the first time that we receive something as close as a Chadwick Boseman likeness, and I love the prints on him so much. He's one of the most colorful figures that I've seen from these movie adapted characters. Now let's discuss the 2022 releases. After all of these, we had four sets release within the Black Panther line, three of these including a Black Panther figure. The Black Panther mech figure is probably the best one that I've seen yet. He features claws, which is an amazing inclusion and much needed, as well as the really nice Chadwick Boseman head resemblance. Plus the eyes are white and it's got regular suit printing without the added black or purple. Why haven't I bought this yet? I'm sick of the mechs. I really don't like these mechs. The builds are boring and they're just too ridiculous of an idea for me because I'm not the target demographic that Lego has in mind with these. The first mechs had amazing new figures and I bought them because I gave in to that with Iron Man and Miles Morales they were really great but these figures ended up being re-released a lot later on so I regretted buying these mechs in the first place. Looking back on them now though we've yet to even hear rumors of whether or not these Iron Man, Wolverine and Black Panther figures will be appearing in sets in 2023 so maybe I'll just have to bite the bullet. Wakanda Forever released this 4 plus set which features the in-game Shuri, awesome, and it also includes a new Black Panther figure. I don't have the in-game set so the Shuri is very appealing to me and this is the latest traditional looking Black Panther. I really like the prints that they have on them and I think that it looks pretty similar to the mech figure. I think because of the similarities to the mech one is what held me off from getting this. But also 4 plus sets suck to build, I hate the small tiny instructions, they take 4 pages to do a single step. Both of these sets cost around 20 NZ dollars for me, so for me to spend 40 bucks on just 3 figures and dumping the pieces is just a little too steep for me. Black Panther only appears in the larger set of the theme, The War on the Water, hey that sounds really funny, that sounds like the bloody, sounds like what the bloody holiday box office headlines will say, hey! Black Panther does appear differently here they look a lot closer to Killmonger actually. Hmm, interesting. The set also has some other really neat exclusive figures, in fact so does Shuri Sunbird. It's the only way that you can grab that really nice looking Nakia, so if I was to get any of these I would get these two and probably skip out on that throne set. In fact, I might just go and get this War on the Water now. Yeah, I bought this on an amazing 30% off clearance, dropping this down from 150 NZ to just 100, I think, maybe just over. The same month that it released, in fact, mind you. Oh, there was also this really overly large bust, but I'll keep it frank here. I couldn't care less for this set, and I'm certainly not going to spend 570 NZ dollars to tell you I think it's bad. I'll just spend no money and tell you that I think it's not for me. So that was my quick look at the Black Panther figures in LEGO. The more I think about it, the more I really want that mech. <laughs> I'm hoping to get more Wakanda based playsets in the future. I really liked having an area where I could put all of those figures in thanks to that Infinity War one. I guess the warship will do for the new ones for now, but come on, buildings are always way better than vehicles. Subscribing to us helps the channel's growth and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.